Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. I have a very important message that the Lord is leading me on. Father, I just ask that you lead me, guide my tongue. Father, I just pray that your words be given, Father, and not my own. I pray that and I plead the blood of Jesus over this message that nothing shall come against it. Father, I thank you for leading us all. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, so the last several nights I have been staying awake between 1 and 4 a.m. every night. And I've been asking the Lord, you know, why are you keeping me awake at this late hour, Lord? Is there something you need to show me? So this has been going on for like about a month now. And I knew the Lord was wanting to tell me something, but I just wasn't understanding it. And today I was led to these things that I'm about to show you. One, I want to tell you that um, the Lord gave me a vision several months ago, and I live in Ohio, northeast, right by Lake Erie, and the Lord was showing me something was coming, and there was going to be some type of a flood, and I didn't know why, I didn't know what, I just knew that he was showing me some type of great disaster was coming, and so I actually forgot about this message, and today I'm going to show you how it connects and um, do you remember I said, you know, I had that dream of the 16th lots and lots of water, you know, prepare. So we had all the rain that came uh, on the 16th and on the 17th. And the Lord is going to show us what he's showing. I'm, I'm going to show you what the Lord is showing us all. So let me start off with scripture here. First Chronicles 27 is speaking about the 12 captains and there's 24,000 in each group, meaning there's, there's two groups of 144, Revelation 7 and Revelation uh, 14, I believe. But I want to tell you guys how this connects to recently what we're about to see the Lord's hand. In First Chronicles 27, 8, the fifth captain of the fifth month was Shemitha and Israel an Israelite in his course were 24,000 okay these are lead captains that God has appointed and I'm going to show you what this name means it means desolation okay so last night as I was awake this Google doodle came up where they're celebrating Apollo 11 the 50th anniversary remember the 50th anniversary of the moon landing 50 years ago, NASA's Apollo mission changed the world. Revelation 9:11 speaks of the Greek name Apollyon, which means destroyer, the same as um, Chronicles, as I was showing you, how 1 Chronicles 27, 8 is also showing destroyer in the fifth month. By calling it Apollo 11, they are bringing both the Greek and the Hebrew into this. Hebrew 11 is Abaddon, which means perishing, Hades, and destruction. It's double destruction. Ephraim is the double fruitful and also means double ash heap. America, beware. Revelation 9-11, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue his name is Apollyon. After the Lord led me on the Google Doodle, this is where um, something popped up in my feed, and this is what it was. Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines published on July 19, 2019. Fifty years. This is in the Great Lakes, guys. They're showing Ohio. It has to be the Great Lakes. I don't want to get a copyright strike, but sisters and brothers, the Lord is leading me to understand that there's something coming to the United States. And I remember somebody had a vision of the Great Lakes. 
and in it there was an explosion that happened they it was a meteor they said but I'm wondering if it's not a missile these are submarines deep in the waters and they're hidden they are um, showing that they are undetectable if you want to read this they are submarines and they call them boomers reminded me of the baby boomers this generation Let me remind you, this came out today, a 50-year anniversary, the same as Apollo, meaning the destroyer and destruction. I don't know how legit this guy is, Dr. Aurora, with the prophecy, but in 2018 of 2011, meaning destruction again, the Great Lakes prophecy, where God touches the waters and destroys um, he brings something that destroys um, in the water bringing the water up on the land and covering the land it seems we are like Israel we are seeing things surrounding the United States of sudden destruction about to happen and I received a word today and I'm going to try and read this as I hold this camera today at 11:44 a.m. I received a message from the Lord showing me and and reminding me that the Google Doodle is celebrating 50 years the Apollo 11 landing he said come my children and walk beside the river of life I immediately got a confirmation in Isaiah 12 to my chosen who have followed me wherever I go blessed be your path for I shall make it straight time moves on and all things remained as it has for those who fell asleep and do not watch as I have commanded they have gone astray and shall soon understand why I told them to watch what I command are the things that are benefit to all who keep them they are the narrow path that few are on as time on a clock revolves as a door it shall open and I shall call you all the combination of space time and my celestial bodies shall align with perfect synchronicity and the end shall come I have made the lights of heaven as your heavenly timepiece and Israel as your earthly clock you have watched as I pushed forward the time as each passing moon phase in every setting Sun was a hand on my heavenly clock the midnight hour is near and my people are not prepared I shall awaken them with an alarm from above and all shall tremble from the noise I shall call my chosen to be beside me for the day is at hand you my chosen shall path from death to life and be messengers of life to those left behind you shall be the ones to carry the heavenly message to my of my salvation for I shall prepare their hearts to receive you a broken nation lost in darkness is the land of America she has held my people captive under much distress as she uses balances of deceit she oppresses the poor and sold her children and made herself as a God America the beautiful you have exchanged your glory for shame you I have watched you I have warned and you hi you have not repented I smell the blood upon the ground of my little ones you tore into pieces now I shall return it upon you stand up ye who are full of pride and who took my bow of promise and shamefully displayed it for disgust I have not forgotten your parade of pride and those of mine who fell upon their knees crying out for justice I smell the stench of those who co commit abomination and exalt themselves above my holy name I shall come upon you with my fury of judgments and you shall not be aware for I have allowed you to be blinded and run of after your own desires I have given you over to the destroyer whom I shall send and you shall not escape you have polluted this land and pulled my people off the path I have set them on therefore your judgment shall come quickly you shall no more lead them astray 
Children of the light, I call you with open arms to my table to feast with me. I shall wash you and give you water for your thirst. I shall clothe you in fine linen and shade you from the heat. Come, my little ones, your Savior is near. I speak to you who lost your way to return to me right now. I call you all. Hear my voice. I can bring you home. You, you who forgot me and was told I do not exist, I am here. I am alive forevermore. I call those oppressed and blind and naked to come to my rest. I shall feed you with abundance and fill you with my joy. Come all who are weighed down. I shall bring you to the eternal peace. Walk with me beside the river of life. Love and peace to you all. Jesus, your Messiah, your salvation eternal. As I said, I have received a confirmation immediately, Isaiah 12, which is, The Lord is my strength and my song. And in that day you shall say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though you was angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thy comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day you shall say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitants of Zion, for the great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. He is telling us in the word he is with us right now. I believe it. Jesus is coming. Prepare, sisters and brothers. The warnings are out. They are literally showing us everything right in front of our eyes. Be ready, family. God is speaking to his children. Prepare. If you do not know Jesus Christ, I plead with you, come now. Let the Lord lead you. I pray his blessings upon you all. He is not going to let them shame his promise no longer. I love you all. This is God's gifts. Be aware. Apollo 11, 50th year anniversary along with this submarine i pray you're blessed this is god's gifts no fear sisters and brothers this is our god speaking he is going to destroy the things that have taken his people away be blessed